First, though, to house prices and how remarkably healthy those prices are in these pandemic Home sales years. across the U.S. are on the rise as buyers... Hello and welcome to another edition of Better Informed. Back in March, I predicted there may be a buying boom post-lockdown. It raised a few eyebrows at the time, but it looks like that prediction has come true. Globally, markets across the world have seen a surge in buyer demand since the pandemic. The UK hitting record prices back in uh, August and the US seeing record transaction numbers both through July and August. Now, why is this? Well, it's really down to two things. Firstly, the focus on the home. We've all been through it, six to eight weeks locked down in our uh, properties, thinking about where we're living, where we are um, working, where we are teaching our kids. And people are looking uh, and reassessing that uh, lifestyle and looking to trade up. Secondly, we've been now in a, uh, an extended period of low interest rates. And that means two things. It means that investors are struggling to find return in other uh, assets and other markets. And secondly, those looking to buy with a mortgage are finding it's affordable and quite cheap at the moment. Big question though, guys, is does this have legs? Is it just a blip? Well, you know, frankly, markets such as the UK, the US, you'd probably have to speak to somebody there. But I've got three main reasons why I think this does have legs here in the UAE. Firstly, our current values. Unlike the UK, unlike the US, places like Germany, we've experienced property market uh, prices come down over the last five or six years. Most of the markets have seen markets go up over that same period of time. So we've actually had price reductions baked into our market before this happened. In fact, that was uh, visible in uh, demand coming back into the market in January, February, March this year. And really, today's buy is just a continuation of that. Who is buying? It's people here domestically in Dubai looking to buy a property for themselves to live in. We've seen a shift here at Better Homes from 24% of buyers identifying themselves as an end user to 67% of buyers identifying themselves as an end user in the last year. We've seen the value of villas being sold around 2.6 million increase to 3.2 million. Um, that's not like for like prices, but it's an indication of people looking at larger properties as, as I said earlier, they assess their living situation and they look to trade up. So the values on offer here in Dubai make it different to the rest of the world. Number two, what we haven't seen here in Dubai is unnatural market stimulus that we have seen in other parts of the world. Uh, the UK, the US, for example, furlough schemes that have protected the economy and protected the market from the worst of the pandemic. That isn't something we've seen here. Um, now, what we have seen here is we've seen the mortgage uh, cap, the loan to value requirements for uh, buying a property for first time buyers reduced from 25% to 20, which has been great for demand. But we don't have that cliff edge scenario of a furlough scheme, for example, being removed from the marketplace, the economy in the coming months. So we don't have that doomsday cliff edge uh, fear to look forward to. And number three, and crucially for me, uh, Dubai tends to be a net gainer of global and regional instability. Sadly, we all know people who've lost their job here in Dubai, we all know people who have left. But most of us also know people who uh, are recruiting again. We know people who are coming to Dubai. We know people from other countries around the region who are looking at Dubai as an opportunity and moving here. We're certainly doing a lot of business from people from uh, um, India, Pakistan, um, Lebanon, other such countries who see Dubai as the place to be in a post-pandemic uh, world. We're taking steps and the government are taking interesting steps to encourage that over a period of time. The uh, uh, accord with Israel, the new uh, retirement visas that have been announced. There's lots of things happening to help bring people in and bring uh, demand into uh, the economy. So what does the future hold? Well, frankly, it would be a brave man to try and predict the future in any market, but certainly in the world as we see it today. However, I will give it a go. Um, I do not predict uh, an early end to the current surge in demand we're currently seeing. I don't think it's going to run out of steam at any time, really due to the fact that uh, the values that I say today are of such great value. Now, the demand we're seeing today is being fueled domestically. My view is when the flights and people start moving around more freely globally next year, we will see a lot of international demand also enter into the market. Um, supply is always something that comes up. Uh, do I think the property market is oversupplied? Well, certainly in some areas, yes I do. 
However, what we're actually seeing at the moment is established markets, established communities across Dubai are starting to get to a level where supply is on the restricted side. There's just not enough properties at the moment for sale. So we've got surging demand, we're starting to see supply restricted in many areas uh, and that is starting to see prices move. So my final prediction is I expect that we've already seen the bottom of the market in terms of pricing in some of those established key communities across Dubai. If you'd like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at www.behomes.com. Thank you. Bye now.